Welcome back everybody here on this Wednesday night. The uh, rain has moved out. You know, earlier today we had some pretty strong storms, especially down in Knox County. But even uh, earlier today we had 17 hundredths of an inch of rain come through Terre Haute here. And then we had a flash flood warning down in portions of Green and Martin counties. All of that has moved away for now. So we're not going to worry about uh, any more rain, at least in the near future. And so things are, are looking pretty good. Give us a chance to dry out a little bit. And I, I must say that here it is. This is the uh, 29th. If unless we get another like inch and a half of rain, which I don't believe we will before the 31st, this month will wind up being below average as far as rainfall. Hard to believe because we've had so much before, but that's the way it's working out. Here's that front now way down here to the south into Kentucky, moving into Tennessee. The uh, three day allergy forecast from Crow Equipment. You know, we dry things out and uh, you get those pollens flying around. So tomorrow we'll be up into the moderate category and Friday uh, even into the uh, upper levels of the moderate category. So get ready for that. Right now we have some high cloudiness. As I mentioned earlier, we have a nearly full moon that's uh, trying to kind of peek through this uh, thin veil of cloudiness we have out there. Later on tonight, we may actually clear the sky out enough to become partly cloudy so you get a more clear view of the moon. 70 in Mattoon, 72 Paris, Rockville has 76, Bloomington has 80 degrees, uh, Olney 77 and Flora 78, Effingham 77. Time once again to talk about dew points and how comfortable you feel with the dew points. Remember last night, dew point was 77, 78 degrees. You step out tonight and you say, hey, this feels pretty nice, it's fresh. That's because the dew point is now down to 63. It's still 76 in Rockville, 71 in Linton, 68 in Vincennes, and Robinson, uh, 68 degrees. So we still have a hint of humidity in the air, but it's down to 61 in Mattoon and Effingham 61. And so that gives you a very good, uh, a very good comparison about how the dew point relates to your comfort factor as far as that mugginess goes. Now here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. This is six o'clock tomorrow morning. Very nice, a sunny day tomorrow. Maybe a few fair weather clouds floating around, but really no threat of rain tomorrow or tomorrow night. And then we get into uh, the next uh, well, several hours after that. We get into Friday. Now look at this. Here's Friday at six o'clock. Futurecast is still trying to bring in the possibility of a little bit of rain. I must say, I, I'm not sure I trust this. Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will be here tomorrow morning and she'll take a look at this again. But right now I'm going to keep rain out of the forecast for Friday. Partly cloudy, cooler, less humid, 63 for the low tonight. Uh, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, rather pleasant. Average high is 88, will be 87 degrees, so pretty nice. And a northwest breeze, certainly less humid. And then for tomorrow night, clear, a nice, big, bright, nearly full moon, 63 degrees for the overnight low. And then Friday, uh, the last day of July, uh, looks like we'll have 88 degrees, which is average. Uh, Saturday, 85. Sunday, and maybe a little possibility of rain. Monday, a slight chance of rain. Temperatures in the 80s, overnight lows in the 60s. Now